What's up, guys? How you doing? Let me know if you guys can hear and see me. Quick, quick, quick. Let me know if you guys can hear and see me. Hope all is well. I'm huffing and puffing because I was just doing a quick little workout. Um, I should have started a little earlier. 9.30 a.m. here, JP time, Japan time. Type in the chat quickly if you guys can hear me and see me. Let me know what's going on. And also, if you guys can let me know if you are a Learn Auto Body and Paint VIP member or not. Hopefully, the audio is good. Um, I see uh, a few people. So Arnold says, what's up? I see you. Hopefully, you guys can hear me. Um, Gavin, what's up, Tony from South Africa? Type in the chat quickly, guys. Peggy Sue says, loud and clear, VIP in Arizona. What's up, Peggy Sue? Um, Gavin again, 2.30 a.m. Oh, my goodness. 2.30 a.m. in South Africa. Holy crap. <laughs> Good over here. VIP from Big Island, Hawaii. Um, awesome. How, how's Hawaii doing, Evan? I might be going back uh, in July. Uh, VIP PA. What's up, bro? Just got in. Just got an ad and it was you, LOL. Hi, VIP. Loud and clear, VIP. What's up, Russ? Javier, Jason, Eric, Ron. I said Peggy, Gary, what's up? What's up, Gary? Lanita, Major, hello. Mark Kello, Crystal Clear, Louisville. Lanita, Pistol Pete, what's up, Pistol Pete? Evan Moneys, I remember once I was like, yo, Pistol Pete, what's your name? He's like, Pete. <laughs> Stephen Mitchell, just fine, VIP. Vincent, um, all good, VIP, can't log on. Good stuff, Tony. Hi from Puerto Rico, John Vang, VIP member. I have an Acura Integra. All right, John's getting into the money. Okay, so guys, before I get into the Q&A, John, I will answer your question first. Um, I wanted to, to just put out a couple of important announcements. Uh, you going to Oahu in July? Yes, I might be going to. Well, right now they still have the quarantine, I think, till uh, the 31st of June I or the 30th of June or the end of June. I don't know if it ends on the 30th or 31. but I just don't want to go back if there's a quarantine. I mean, I don't mind staying home for two weeks, but if I don't have to, that would be great, you know? Um, so maybe in July, i be going back. I'm trying to find a place here, guys. I told you I'm in Japan, and I put a deadline to where if I can't find something within June, um, I'll probably go back to Hawaii and just do what I got to do there. So that's the deal. Um, all right, so guys, quickly, before I – we get into the Q&A. I just wanted to drop a couple of important links. Um, I don't know if you guys remember, but I am doing a training on e-commerce and how basically e-commerce is blowing up, guys. And you need to get on this bandwagon if you want to generate some extra cash, build out a little mini side business from home. I'm doing a training. All the trends, everything is just going ridiculously bonkers right now. Uh, with e-commerce. So it's the perfect time more than ever before. E-com was big five years ago. That's when I got in. Um, uh, uh, probably late 2016, I got in uh, e-commerce and I built an online business. I have a few of them going on right now. And we're generating hundreds of thousands of dollars in extra revenue per year uh, for each of these websites. And we just launched a new product that's generating well, it's on track to generate an extra $200,000 in revenue from one product idea. And I want to show you guys how you can come up with these little product ideas because the riches are in the niches. Okay, so instead of going after huge things, you want to go after little things and build mini e-commerce businesses that, can, that basically gives you a big profit margin where you can pretty much control the market, create all types of special offers. I'm going to show you everything what we do. And um, this is where you want to sign up. The training is going to go live on Friday. I want to try to go live on Thursday. But if I can't do it on Thursday, it's going to be Friday. Um, and that's pretty much my deadline. I want to launch this thing to you guys um, on Friday US time. So that's pretty much it. Oh, also, guys, if you guys haven't sent in your selfie, if any of you on here... Um, is a Atom spray gun owner, okay? If you guys own an Atom spray gun, okay? 
take a selfie picture of you and the atom, or even if you have a gun bud uh, ultra lighting system. I am helping Adam out. We are doing a special campaign um, over at learnautobodyandpaint.com. Here are the instructions. I'm going to drop the link right now. And basically, all you have to do is send in a selfie of you and your gun. We already got like a, a bunch of them. We should have put them on this page so you guys can see examples, but my team didn't do that yet. Um, and then we're actually going to pick the winner the first week of next month. Somebody is going to win an Atom X88 brand new Infinity spray gun. This is the newest model. Hasn't even come out yet. It's going to be out in about six six weeks or so. Um, you're going to be able to get one of these for free. It's the Brent. There's only going to be a hundred pieces in the world made of this model. Um, and somebody's going to win. Also, we're going to be giving away a Matt Adam mini X 16 spray gun as well. So that's pretty much it. Check that page out. I just dropped the link. I'll drop it one more time right here. All you got to do is send in a selfie of you and an Adam gun, uh, over on the instructions on that page. That's pretty much it. And that ends the end of this month. You guys got a week. <sighs> okay. What else? Um, for all of you new people here, non-VIP members who want to learn more about VIP, go to this page to grab a free 85-page auto body manual. And also you get hit with a special offer to become a VIP uh, where you get a bunch of other perks. Okay, now that that is taken care of, let's get into the Q&A. Um, I know John, VIP member, says, I have an Acura Integra that has two layers of barnyard paint. Wow, that's hardcore. Um, do I take it down with 320 grit paper? What steps do I take after? Okay, John Vang, number one, go through the main A to Z video and guide in VIP, all right? But aside from that, I would go 320 sounds okay. If you want to just feather everything down with a 320 grit sandpaper on a DA, you should be fine. Okay, get it flat, get it feathered out, get it smooth. Um, if you have multiple paint layers you're working with and, and it looks kind of like you're blending into each other, you know, feathering in, then I would definitely seal it with a 2K sealer uh, filler primer. All right, use something like an Advantage. It's like a hundred bucks uh, for a gallon setup. You can go over the whole car with it, seal it. It'll have a nice 2K uh, filler primer sealer on it, which you can wash down with 400 grit, block it out, and then you'd be ready for paint. Okay. Um, Eric Gonzalez, what do you recommend for a decent spray gun for clear coat and base coat and primer? Um, nonetheless, I would say an Atom X20 or X27 spray gun, Eric. Um, these are phenomenal guns. We have uh, Atom owners on uh in vip we have i am a avid adam spray gun user so check out adam over here you also get a free gun bud ultra lighting system with your spray gun okay and that is a 89 dollars value right in the light system alone um pistol pete lol vip from mississippi hey tony vip lr wilson what's up norfolk virginia uh vip member albuquerque new mexico eric adam x27 for base and clear oh arnold answered the question thank you arnold i would recommend another gun with a 1.8 to 2.0 for primers thank you arnold yeah i completely understand does your vip go through step by step um, guys, does my VIP program go through, uh, step by step? We have over 180 hours. We, my, my developer just counted last week. Well, two weeks ago, we got 180 hours of step by step videos that goes through various projects in VIP. So if you want to learn body kits, we have body kits. Uh, you want to learn some rust repair. We got some rust repair. You want to learn full color change, two tone candies. It's all in VIP. Um, even motorcycle projects where we paint and clear over decals and um, pinstriping and all of that type of stuff. It's all in VIP. Hi, Tony from Maui. What's up? What's up? Already signed up. Okay, cool. Uh, VIP Edgar Israel. What's up, buddy? Okay, let's hit some Q&A, guys. Okay, let's see. I'm just trying to run through this stuff here. Uh, yo, Tony, I sent the testimonial. Tony, I learned, have you received an email yet? Um, 
I will double check after this, but if you sent it to Tony at learnautobodyandpaint.com, we should be getting it. I don't know if you just sent it. Let's see. Um, I don't see anything at the moment, but I think my team should be getting it. I had to basically reboot my laptop over the weekend, so I didn't hook up one of my email accounts yet, but I should be getting it. It's rare, Han Integra. Thank you. What is the best way to remove overspray? Okay, so Mark Keller, there's a few ways to uh, remove overspray. If it's on your windows of the car, or the glass, or whatever, you can simply use a razor blade on an angle. I so I just use like car soap, razor blade, and I just clean my windows clean. That's also in VIP. I have a whole section on on the strategy to do that in VIP. You can use a clay bar, um, clay bar on the body. So if you have overspray on body panels that you know, or were painted that you didn't want overspray on. Basically, get a clay bar with some soapy water. And you could just, it'll clay bar, it'll come right off. It should come right off. If you have overspray on moldings, maybe you got some primer overspray on black trim, okay? You can use lacquer thinner on a rag to just clean it up and get it black again. And after you do that, okay, and I'm talking about like, uh, you know, black trim by your, uh, by your windows, you know, the soft black trim the molding or black trim on the middle of your door. If it's like a plastic black, you could use lacquer thinner on a rag just to wipe it clean. And then I would go over with some um, black chrome, any kind of like black rubber treatment. Um, there's a few brands out there better than armor all. It's like an armor all, but black chrome works really well. Um, vinyl, vinyl X. What was that stuff that I used? Vinyl. I think it's called vinyl. I forgot the name of it, guys. I haven't used it in a while, but it's in my cabinet at the shop. I think it's called vinyl. Vinyl. Guys, I'm so sorry. It's a blue bottle, but it's you just basically, you know, recondition the black with a rubber trim conditioner after you clean it with lacquer thinner. That's the best way to do it. Um, VIP, well, well worth the money. Can attest to that. And so can Jack. Awesome. Thank you so much. Hi, Tony. Are checkerboard patterns painted? How are checkerboard patterns painted? Do you use a stencil or actually tape the pattern and paint? You could use a stencil, all right, and do it. You could use a stencil or you could create your own. Um, if you want a mini checkerboard pattern, you could use like to create like a carbon fiber effect. Um, you, you could spray a black base and then have you ever seen inside of kitchen cabinets, they put that non-slip type of, um, uh, rubber grip pad inside of kitchen cabinets. It looks kind of like a, like a checkerboard. You could actually lay that on pieces and then spray base over it, which will give you that carbon fiber effect. Um, I actually like to do more of that. And when I do, I'll be recording the step-by-step -step process for you. But there's a, there's a few different ways to do it. Um, okay, very good step-by-step -step videos. What brand paint to use that won't destroy my wallet? Um, you could look into the uh, PPG. I like PPG. Um, Omni Plus puts out a good paint. It's not the cheapest. Omni is a cheaper version of PPG. But if you go and upgrade to like Omni Plus, it's like a better, you know, better base coat paint that you can get. And then as far as clear coats goes, it's all, it all depends on your budget. I wouldn't go with a cheap, cheap clear coat, you know, anywhere from a $80, $75 to $110 gallon kits, just beware. You know, they're not the, they're not the best. Some of them have a yellow tinge to it. Some of them have a lot of dry back. Uh, I mean, die back, which means it, it dries out after two weeks or so. And it kind of, the gloss, the sheen disappears and it looks a little dried up looking, but you could cure that with a good color sand and buff. Okay. So, I mean, I would look out, look into the Deltron clear coats. If you want to get a mediocre base coat, you know, you can go with a mediocre, uh, nascent base coat or PPG, uh, Omni plus, and um, and put a good clear coat over it. Or you could experiment with some of the uh, Eastwood products. I have not painted with any Eastwood products yet. Um, when I get back to the States, I could pro possibly do that. I might actually be using some Eastwood products on my 2004 uh, Mazda, not Mazda, Honda CX, Honda, Honda CRV project. I got all these cars. I can't even keep track. Um, Honda, 
Honda CRV project. You could definitely, I, I might do that on that project. Like a single stage. I want to do a single stage, like uh, an army, you know, olive color or something with some black trim, but something like that. But I will have the process and VIP for you. Um, okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, what is your opinion on fisheye eliminators and clear coat? Uh, any recommendations? You know, I haven't used fisheye eliminators in years. My dad had a lot of success with them. He always had a bottle in his cabinet just in case we were getting any reactions while painting. You could add, you know, a squirt. I don't think there are many brands of it, actually. Fisheye eliminator. There was a brand that he used to use in a little square. It was called Smoothie. This was the product that we used to use all the time. It's called Smoothie, fisheye eliminator. And we used to just put a squirt or two. I'll give you the link right here. Um, this is the product that we used to use all the time. Well, my dad used all the time, fisheye eliminator. And it did work. I will say it did work. And he swore by the stuff. He always had a thing in the cabinet. But I actually, you know, over the years, I've never had issues with fisheye. So I never ended up having to, to go out and get um, some product. So just letting you know. So I would definitely look into that. <clears throat> it might help you out. Um, my first paint job went really good. Thanks to your videos. Was not VIP, but then learned a lot watching your videos on YouTube. Where can I send you pictures? You could send the pictures at Tony at learn auto body and paint.com. Tony at learn auto body and paint.com. Thank you, Javier. Javier. Other, other than the Adam selfie. Evan, when do you do another giveaway for VIPs? We'll probably do some more next month, guys. We'll, we'll do some giveaways next month um, in June because we've been giving away a lot of stuff. Like I literally went through probably. Man, I would say close to 12, 1300 bucks in giveaways over the past two months. Um, not too much this month, but the, the months before. But uh, don't worry, we'll be doing a lot more, probably a lot more in uh, in June. So, so hang tight. Um, hi, Tony. Is it okay to clear coat chrome and rubber body molding? Chrome and rubber body molding. You could try it. I I actually never tried clear coating body molding, like trim. Um, are you talking about like just the plain black plastics, the black plastic trim? Is it the hard moldings? Are you talking about hard plastic moldings or like a soft rubber molding? That's that's a tricky one because I've never done that. Um, Ray Orts, what's up, Tony? New VIP from Porterville, California. What's up, Ray? Congratulations, man. Congratulations. Welcome to the club. What's up, Tony? Pito from Puerto Rico. What's up? What's up? Um, I'm going to paint my 63. So Cliff says, I'm going to paint my 63 Plymouth a bright red. Do you see advantage to using a red tinted sealer? Um, you you can, and you, but you don't have to. Um, if you use a red tinted sealer, depending on how red it is, It'll probably, it will save you on some base coat and red base coat is expensive. So yes, there could be an advantage using a red tinted sealer because you're, you're going to be already red, you know, or close to a red. So you'd probably only need maybe, you know, I would get three quarts of base um, unmixed, which will give you a gallon and a half of sprayable should be more than enough. Um, and if you were not using a red tinted sealer, maybe get a gallon just, just in case, you know, I don't know if you're doing door jams and under the hood and, and like going the whole nine yards or not, but that process alone will probably take a half a gallon of, uh, paintable material, half a gallon. So you'll run through two quarts, just covering the insides, maybe a little bit more, uh, depending, um, Evan, yes, you can use another spray gun with the gun butt attached to it to enter the contest for the Mini X16. Yes, absolutely, you can. Thank you, Arnold. Arnold, you're like my right-hand man in here. I got I to gotta make you moderator. 
Um, what about Dimension for base coat? Yes, Dimension is a great product. I haven't had a lot of experience with it, but I know that it is a great product from VIPs talking about it and just hearing other people use it. I use a lot of Montana paint and Imran Industrial Imran paint seem to be very good. Yes. Uh, yes, come on, guys. Smash the like button. Smash the like button, guys. Um, again, guys, I'm looking to get a shop. I don't know. I'm in, I'm in like a pending process right now with Japan and Hawaii. Like I said, if things don't work out here within the next month or so um, and we can't find and land a location, we put a timer on it, um, we'll probably be heading back to Hawaii because I got, you know, I have my auto body contacts. We got the shop. I have projects lined up. So we'll be back in business there in probably mid-July, August, September. And you know what? The good thing about Hawaii is that it's it's warm all year round. So you could, I'll be, I can do painting all year round. It's not like in the winter time, you know, in Texas or here, I basically shut down. You know, I, I just do other things. I focus on other parts of my online businesses and I just don't do any auto body work. But, um, you know, with, with the warmer all year round helps out because you could basically do a project anytime you want. Nason clear coat is not bad, Tony, and it's cost effective. Yes, I know. I, Arnold, I sprayed Nason products for many years, many years. Um, save on base spl splurge on clear. Clear will make or break the final result. I agree. As long as your base coat is on nicely and you're fully covered, you know, you don't have any light spots or bleeding coming through or anything, then yes, go with a good clear coat. Um, okay. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, Tony, do you have to use a primer sealer before paint? May I ask? Uh, no, you don't. Um, if you are a new VIP member, I highly recommend watching some of my, um, my complete paint jobs. Look at the BMW project, the Mazda Miata project. Um, the green one that I did, you know, I didn't prime the whole thing, only areas that I did body work on. You could definitely paint and base coat over sanded clear coat um, if it's in good shape. You know, if you have a lot of peeling and fading, then probably you'd want to seal those areas. Can I plug an empty gun and pull the trigger to simulate spraying? Just want to see if my gun is compatible with, me. yeah, why not? You could even put some water in it if you want, or even a uh, reducer just to see. You know, I would put reducer in it. Just spray. You could spray a little bit of reducer just to see the fan pattern and whatnot. Um, of course, it's going to come out a lot finer and atomized because it's a very thin product, right? It's not going to come out like paint would come out. Peggy Sue says, I use smoothie in Central, never use it in base coat. Um, I use smoothie in Centauri, never use it in base coat, clear coat. Do any atom uh, guns come, come with multiple tips? Um, I don't think so. The only one that comes with a multiple tip kit is the new Atom X88, um, which is basically the new product. It comes with a 1.3 and 1.4. It's not um, a recommended primer gun. That's why it doesn't come with a 2.0 or a 1.8 tip, but it does come with your basic painting tip kits, which is a 1.3, 1.4, good for base coat, clear coat, good for single stage enamels. Um, it's on pre-order status at Zula.com uh, right now. But the tip kits are pretty affordable because you get a whole new tip kit. You get the the needle, you get the whole, you get the knobs, you get the air cap, you get everything with a tip kit um, for any Atom X spray gun. They're a lot more affordable than the high-end guns, that's for sure. So yeah, definitely check those out. I would like to be a moderator, Tony. Sign me up. All right, I will look into it. There's a way to do that. And I think I just added you as a moderator for my channel, Arnold. <laughs> I just, first time, I don't know. I just did it. So definitely, I don't know what type of privileges you get now. <laughs> just don't take over the chat and like put some AI bot in here or whatever, right? <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> um, I'm going to have to change my name to the Carnival Painter. I think it's so many different Carnival. I think so many different carnival rides i love that mark mark and i seen some of your images you sent me some images way back in the day haven't you like like years ago i remember 
anyway, super cool stuff. Uh, the like button is in quarantine. <laughs> Guys, hit the like button. Well, anyway, it's almost 10 o'clock here. We'll go on for another five minutes, guys, uh, because I have to wrap up. I am actually still working on my brand new e -com training for you guys. Uh, super busy. Had a crazy weekend. We're looking at some property. You know, I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Um. Still around, Tony. What's up, Barn Shop Productions? Barn Shop, you stop uploading videos. Your, I saw your channel. Literally, I was peeking at your channel about two weeks ago. I was on your channel and I saw that you uploaded maybe five or seven videos. They're actually some of them took off. You have a few videos on there that took off. Um, I would say. You should keep it up, keep uploading because it takes a little bit of time for YouTube videos and a brand new channel to start taking off. Um, I think Arnold, because you are now a moderator, I, I added you to be a moderator. You have a little toolbar, Arnold, next to your, next to your, uh, you have a wrench. You basically have a wrench. So that basically means moderator. Arnold, see if you can actually add a link in here. Can you add a link to learnautobodyandpaint.com? Because I know non-moderators cannot add links. Um, let's see. I'll put a link in here. See if you can copy that link and see if you could put a link in. I don't know. Maybe you could. Um, definitely, I would not stop uploading videos, Barn Shop. Yes, I sent you a lot of them. The best one was the huge... Slide that I did six years. Yeah, I remember that. Um, Stephen says, I got additional uh, tips with S X16, X27 when Zula ran specials. Yeah, so definitely get on the Zula mailing list. They run specials uh, every once in a while. Um, how do I get a wrench? <laughs> Had an accident about two years. Stop me cold till now. Barn shop, keep it up, please. Upload videos. I will promote you to my audience and tell them, check out your videos. Hey, Tony, quick, quick. What's up, Kamal? My man from the St. Vincent man. What's up? Um, hit them up. Hit the questions up. We're running on 30 minutes. I got to head out. Got a couple of minutes left. And I need to head out. Uh, what do you know about plastic adhesion promoter? Well, I use a product called Bulldog Adhesion Promoter that's good to spray over raw plastic body parts after you scuff them up with like a 400 grit or a 3M scotch Bright pad. You can scuff those moldings up and then you would spray the adhesion promoter on it. And then I usually spray a 2K filler primer on that. Um, and then I wash it down flat. This way I get rid of the um, the primer, not the primer, the plastic basically has like a, a texture to it, right? It's kind of like, I wouldn't say orange peel, but it has that texture to it. And if you paint over that, you're going to get that come through to your final paint job. So I like to fill it with a 2K filler primer, um, wash it flat and then paint it. And then it'll actually look glossy. It'll come out like a car body panel. And I like to do that. Um, you know, if I want to get that glossy look on all of my panels, right? Um, so hopefully that helps. Um, so LR Wilson says, I got bad orange peel that I had to use 600 grit to get rid of. Wow. Can the respray cover 600 or sand with 800 or finer? Um, LR Wilson, it depends. Um, Arnold, you have to add HTTPS. Those are unclickable links. You have to do the HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash in front of the www um so lr wilson it depends if you're gonna be if you plan to just clear over that then i would at least get down to an 800 grit to clear over i'm not sure what your orange what you're sanding out 
you know, are you working on a single stage paint job or a base coat, clear coat, number one. And if you plan to spray base over it again with clear coat, then you could go down to, you could go 600, you could go 400. Okay. Um, but if you're going to just flow coat, basically, if you're trying to cut your orange peel down, say it's a clear coat, you could finish with 800 and then clear coat on top of that. All right. So yes, Arnold, you can drop links. Your link is clickable. That's awesome, dude. So Arnold, let's see next week if you still remain a moderator or if I have to do that to you every time we get on a YouTube live. Because right now, you're a moderator on this chat. I won't touch anything when we get on the next call. If you're still a moderator, then that's freaking cool as hell. Um, I would like to talk to you maybe by email or we could do a you know audio or whatever one day. We could talk about uh, kind of being the moderator and things you could do and all that stuff. Yeah, the link did come up, buddy. It did come up. Um, so Kamal's question was, do mix it with anything. No, you don't mix it with anything. It depends what you use though, because the adhesion promoter I use Kamal comes in an aerosol can and it's the simplest way to use an adhesion promoter in my opinion, because you just, you just kind of give it a, a, a coat, a light coat, and then you're good. That's it. It basically gives you that tack for the primer to stick really well to your plastic parts. Um, and again, I, I use the Bulldog Adhesion Promoter. I don't know if you can get it where you are, but maybe find out there's another version in your country what, what you know where you can use. So you can use it. Have you ever had a chance to take a look at the Clear Coat Liquid Glass? I think it's very good. Not yet. Not yet. But I will let you know if I do. Going over OEM paint on a panel. Good condition. I assume wet sand it with 400. Do I need to primer seal it before base? Um, if it's a painted panel, then you could just wet sand with 400 and paint right over it. Curious, did you ever get your private pilot? No, I have not because I've just been so busy traveling, you know, taking care of my, my daughter, you know, being a single parent all of last year, close to a year and a half of doing that, you know, working on my online businesses. I just haven't had the time to do it. So I don't know, man. I'm hoping if if we do move back to Hawaii and if we were there as a family, then I will actually have more time to go out and do that. And that's something I still it's still on my on my um my bucket. I don't want to say it's a bucket list, but it's still on my list of things I want to do, you know? Um Ray says, I'm, I'm, I'm ready for a paint job. I'm undecided to do it because it's not enough space. I got estimates and it's really expensive. I was able to do a little body work and primer. Thank you, Tony. Ray, keep it up, man. Keep it up. Again, yes, yes, yes. Check, check. Ray, just ramp on it and do it. I was the same, same situation. It was worth my time to do it myself and save the money. Um, can you mix clear coat with base coat to make a touch up paint for small areas to use uh, a brush? Or Yes, you can. If you want to try it, you can. You could definitely add. So what I would do is mix clear coat and add the base coat to the clear coat. Okay. Mix your clear coat first, maybe a couple of ounces, and then pour in unreduced base coat into that. Okay. Don't reduce your base coat. Just put your base coat. It'll give it a, a gloss. But just remember that once it dries, it's going to dry, you know. Um you know, it's not like you're going to be able to save that paint because when the clear coat, when the activator, when it dry, you know, it's going to cure. That's all I'm saying. So don't mix a lot. Um, so yeah, LR Wilson, hopefully that answered your question. All right, guys, I have to head out. Um, I got a lot of things to do today. I got to get, I got to get to work, take a quick break, get to work. And, um, I will see you guys soon. So if you guys are looking for amazing, awesome spray guns, um, definitely check out the Adam spray guns over at Zula.com here. Um, definitely. If you are a brand new person, uh, watching, uh, the channel here, grab a free 85 page auto body booklet here. And if you guys haven't, and you want to sign up to learn more about the e-com Dom training that I'm going to be doing this Friday, click over here. It's going to show you how to build a little mini successful e-com business during these weird times because, 
it's the trend and you need to jump on trends guys if you want to you know basically get the unfair advantage in life and kind of create multiple streams of income like i've been doing over the past 10 years and it's just been a godsend because it allows me to travel the world be with my family go here go there while i make money with an internet and a laptop you know internet connection laptop and i been doing it for a very, very long time. So anyway, guys, talk to you soon. Thank you, Arnold. Thank you, Jack, LR, Wilson, Mark Keller, Ray, Gavin. Thank you, all you VIP guys. Hit the like button before you head out. And I'll see you in the next couple of days, guys. Thank you so much. And um, stay safe. I'm happy that the US is opening back up. You know, we're all excited. Um, and just, you know, take this time to actually get prepared guys again, because you never know what's going to happen. They might say, Oh, it's coming back. You know, more people are dying. We're going to have to shut it down again. So take this opportunity, this window right now to go out, to buy your generator, you know, to stock up on some gas, to stock up on some food, to go out and a little bit, you accumulate a little bit. So this way, if something does happen again, you don't feel so much anxiety inside, you know, I'm always about preparedness and, and being prepared just in case. So thank you guys for getting on. Have a great night. See you Thursday night. Bye.